Welcome. My name is Diana Waring, and I'm glad you're here. Last time, we looked at seven reasons why homeschooling is great for your kids. Today, let's consider four things that you'll want to think seriously about before taking the leap, plus one final consideration. First, though we can sit and daydream about how wonderful it will be to teach our kids at home, the reality is that it is an immense commitment, a lot of work, time, and energy. I remember hearing that my friends were getting together for lunch because they had put their kids on that yellow school bus while I was home making PB&J for mine. It's a challenge to keep things in perspective when your commitment means you don't have the freedom to go to the mall or go out with friends. When you homeschool, you're signing up for a 24-7 schedule. At least, that's what it's like when your kids are little. When you're homeschooling older students, that can change dramatically. So ask yourself, can I make that commitment? Secondly, it's important to recognize that though a career in homeschooling has huge rewards, none of them are monetary. Your perks come as you watch your children learn, as they get so excited about a discovery that they race in to tell you all about it, as you listen to their ideas and then help them do what's in their heart to do. You have the precious opportunity to know your kids in a way that's only possible by spending hour upon hour, day after day with them. Is it worth the cost? As a mom of three adult children who were homeschooled, I think so. I wouldn't trade it for all the money on Wall Street. But you have to choose for yourself. Next, by its very nature, teaching your kids at home tends toward isolation. It takes intentional effort and thought to be part of a wider community. Being involved in church, 4-H, sports, co-ops, or community outreach like visiting nursing homes or serving at soup kitchens will help your kids develop friends, learn to serve others outside the family, and help them grow their people skills. For some of you, this is easy. In fact, you might want to consider spending a bit more time at home. For others, however, this one is going to feel very challenging. Are you ready to go beyond your comfort zone for the sake of your children? And fourth, you will need to be not only parent and teacher, but guidance counselor as well. As your kids get older, what will they need for college or career? What will help them succeed? For instance, I realized that I needed to teach my kids in high school how to have success with formal tests, the kind where a professor has written questions in a tricky way to trip up those who aren't good test takers. And if they're gonna go to college, which one's right for them? What do they need to get into that school? All these issues do not take care of themselves. Someone has to do the work to find answers, and you are most likely the right person. This doesn't have to be scary. After all, studies show that homeschoolers make some of the best college students. But this is a big responsibility. Are you willing to carry this burden? Finally, here's an important consideration for you. If you are being guilted or pressured into homeschooling, Please recognize that if your heart's not in it, it could damage your kids. Remember, homeschooling is all about you serving your kids. It's for their benefit, their blessing, though it can also bring great joy to us. It's education that's relational. See you next time.